Let's talk about the wrench. The wrench is a useful tool for working on kinetic contraptions and can be used to rotate, dismantle, and to configure components. Let's first see how to craft this. What you're going to need is two iron ingots and two andesite. And we place them on a crafting table like this. And we get one andesite alloy. Alternatively, you can put one andesite and one iron nugget into a mixer. And we just drop that in with Q and it mixes it up and we should get a second andesite alloy. We need some cog wheels and to make a cog wheel is this recipe, an andesite alloy in the middle surrounded by buttons on the outside. So we get all these buttons and the andesite alloy. We can get over to a crafting table. I'm gonna put one in the middle and surround it. And we get cog wheels. Now it does make eight, so that's pretty cool. The next thing we're gonna need is three gold sheets. So how do we make gold sheets? Well, we're gonna take three gold ingots and place them onto this depot underneath a mechanical press and the press is going to press each ingot into a golden sheet. And then you're gonna right click it to pick it up. So now we have three golden sheets, and a cogwheel, and we're gonna need a stick. Now we can put this like that, a stick at the bottom and a cogwheel in the middle. And now we get a wrench. So what does a wrench actually do? A wrench lets you change the direction of create blocks so you can right click and it changes which direction it faces sometimes it like it won't let you click the bottom of something with a with a gear coming out but you can click the sides of these items and the same with cogs if you click the edges it'll rotate it different ways for pipes you can change it from being see-through to being solid the other thing you can do with a wrench is to adjust the directions using the, the mouse scroll wheel, right? So if it's going clockwise and you scroll down, it goes counterclockwise. And this is for the windmill bearing. You can also edit the mechanical piston using the wrench. So it goes from always place when stopped to place only in starting position and place only when anchor destroyed. So you can use the mouse scroll wheel to alternate these settings. Next you have the linear chassis, which changes the range by scrolling. And the same thing with the radial chassis. You just scroll and that changes the radius. And finally, you have the rotational speed controller. And so you just point and scroll and that changes the speed. Last and most important is that compared to a pickaxe or another tool, the wrench doesn't let you drop your items into the lava and lose them. Instead, you can shift or crouch and then right click and the cogwheel is in your inventory. I hope you found this video helpful and until next time, have a good one.